Hi everyone, so I've been asked by a lady how do you turn the central heating radiator off if you've already turned the knob to zero and it's still baking hot, what can I do? Okay, let's cut straight to it shall we? Here then is our radiator valve, I've got this one full on Okay, it's a thermostatic one, turn it clockwise and you keep turning it keep going until you can't turn it anymore that is off okay so now that rad should be getting cold what about now if it's not getting cold and it's staying hot well unfortunately these radio valves you can't fix them now I'm afraid they they have to be renewed once they don't work anymore so how do we now turn this radiator off? Well, now we turn to the other end of the radiator and we'll use the lock shield valve to shut it down if you're suffering too much heat from a radiator. Okay, so we'll go to that end now. So, on the other end of your radiator, you will have what we call a lock shield valve. It's one of these, it'll either have a cap on it like this one that's no screw, or you'll have a cap on it with a screw in it. If it's got a screw in it, just undo it, okay, with a screwdriver, take it out, and then like the push-on one, you can just put it away, like so. Now, a lot of people think, they get to this, <laughs> this end of the radiator and think, that's the knob, you know, and if I keep turning it, it will go off. Now, obviously, it's not doing anything, not a thing, so eventually you think well it must be off by now and of course it hasn't done anything the rad's going to get just as hot as it always has done with the broken thermostatic radiator valve at the other end so what do we do now well it's quite simple we turn this off with either a pair of pliers or as i prefer a spanner now all you've got to do is remember the amount of turns that you turn this off because if you've got a balanced system all done and everything's heating up at the right rate you need to set this the same amount of turns on that you turn it off so it's fairly important so you can put your pliers on there if you want and start turning okay now i prefer a spanner because it doesn't wreck the head and just we just turn it and count the turns okay so that's probably one there and Count them down as we come round, that's two, and it's off. When you feel it go tight like that, you know it's off. Don't push it anymore. That is it, it's off. Okay, this radiator will now get shut down and no more heat will come through it. Okay, and it will do for now until you get the thermostatic radiator valve that's on the other end renewed, I'm afraid. Okay, so. When we come to turn it on then, again, just remember the amount of turns that you turned it. Using the spanner again, always the easiest way. Another scenario then, is that you have a twist, what we call a thumbnail valve. We haven't got a thermostatic radiator valve on the system, and you decide to turn it off. Now, they're always a bit stiff, I can guarantee you that, but you've got to keep on turning. You haven't got to bother about counting turns on it, just keep going until it stops turning okay now sometimes it's so stiff you might think you're there and it's not quite there but when it's there it's really tough and that, that is off and the rad should go off if it doesn't go off when this is off turn right down like that then once again there's a fault in the valve there could be a bit of crud under there that the, the valve has gone down on and uh, it's not quite closing but another popular one that happens i just turn it back on is that you get kind of tops that are broken inside you can see inside there and the little squares go so people put them on and they're twisting them thinking they're turning i'm not going to twist and break that one but you kind of twist it like that and think you're turning it off and actually what's happening is the head's spinning round and round on the spindle it's not doing anything it's just going round and round and round it's got to make sure that little slot is in there but let's say those little slot containers in there uh, snap off and break so when you think you're turning the red off, uh, nothing is actually happening. So you, know, you can feel when that's got a good grip on those containers and turn it like that. And as I say, you can at the very worst use a spanner or pliers to give it a last little nip. And sometimes the valve's really stiff. You can't actually get it gripped right down with your hand anyway. You haven't got enough strength. So if you've reached the end, when you want to give it another little piece, so if I shut that down here, um, you could always use the pliers to give it another little tweak around a bit further. 
or best still a spanner but whatever you do don't give it too much <laughs> okay because if you snap that off in there uh, that again means the end of the line uh, new radiator valve and what's more the rad won't get hot at all then until you renew it <laughs> okay so that's something to look out for but that's the other thing with the thumbnail valve we call them a thumbnail valve really um, where you haven't got a tvr thermostatic valve you've just got one of these and a lock shield on the other end but once it's done these usually are okay but that's just little things to look out for say mainly when you think you've got it on and say them little lugs are snapped inside <laughs> well then that's about it then Thanks for watching everyone and catch you next time there at Inverty Free. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.